Welcome to the Misfit One Lifestyles with Elizabeth Colon. She will awaken and connect with your Misfit One. Are you tired of the ups and downs in your life? Are you ready to live a healthy lifestyle once and for all? We are talking about all aspects of your life. Being fit is not just physical. It's also your mind and soul. Learn how to take steps in your life to move towards your goals. Elizabeth's goal is for everyone listening to the sound of her voice to get fit. Let's get focused, let's get intentional, and let's transform. Now here's your host, Elizabeth Colon. This week, I guess Rose Webb is talking to us about... Pivot. So you didn't know that you needed one in your life, but it is a gym that also transforms into a bed, so you can use it in your home. Bam! Get your exclusive today. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Misfit One Lifestyles with your girl, Elizabeth Colon, also known as Misfit One. You got it. But listen, listen, today I am doing stuff that I had thought I would never do, but I'm doing it, right? It's called growth. We all going to grow from this. And I really believe that this product is freaking amazing especially for people who don't have a lot of a lot of space but but let me roll back let me roll back guys our guest is rose webb she is pivot brand and marketing director all the way from across the pond in uk how you doing girlfriend hello i'm really good thank you how are you doing I am well. Listen, I am so excited to speak with you about Pivot, which I've never heard of it before. Then I did all the research because I am a journalist. <laughs> love it. I love it. It's authentic. You've done your background. I've done my background. And wow, why haven't I heard of this before? First of all, tell everybody what Pivot is. Yeah, of course. So you're not the first one to have that reaction. We get that a lot. So in a nutshell, Pivot is a home gym that you can sleep on or in because when it's assembled, it's a full gym, like a a rig that folds out. So you can do everything that you would expect to do in a regular gym, right? We are talking serious weightlifting, no compromise in terms of what you can do. Pull-ups, power rack, bench press, you name it, right? Some serious heavy weights. This has been safety tested to over 300 kilos. However, to save space, because not everyone has the luxury of a room that they can dedicate to a gym, it can flip down into a bed. So when you don't want to use it in the gym or when your auntie's coming to stay, then you flip it down and it is a fully functioning bed to sleep on. So, yeah, but I had the same reaction as you and loads of other people had. So when I was introduced to Pivot, I've been on board for about six months. I was like, how have I not heard of this? Because I am target customer. And and, and it's because the, the brand is in its infancy. So you know it's a startup and 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 yeah that I love your reaction to it because that's exactly what we want people to have but what people do have right and and what's crazy about it first of all I need to get some conversions I'm gonna have to run the number what what is 300 kilos oh no don't worry I can do you sorry you're pounds aren't you Yes, we're pounds okay oh yes that's probably no uh, (laughs) okay so don't worry I have the pounds so Colin has armed me with this so basically for example in the safety testing and Pivot created its own bespoke safety test, right? You would simulate a person weighing, let's say, 285 pounds, performing 12,000 pull-ups. But then for, for safety testing, you te- the, the safety factor is times 2.5. So actually, you ensure that it can hold 715 pounds. So 325 kilos oh. is 715 pounds. So it's robust. It's so robust in every it sense can, of the word. It can, it can be done for us Americans. <laughs> we like we really don't know you know it might be strong for uk but america we come a little bigger over here you know what i'm saying yeah absolutely and so two things first of all pivot's biggest sales market is the us despite being a british brand british made homegrown very british right However, interestingly, 57% of sales sales originate in the US. And I don't know if you saw my little note, but the biggest regionally, it's the Carolinas. And I know the Carolinas. Carolinas. That was like, you know what? What's so crazy is because now we have so many studios up here because we are like uh, the banking capital 
Capitol, I think like number two or three, whatever, top five, whatever. And right. um, we have a lot of um, single, hardworking people that live in studios. Right. And want to have a workout. They have like the gyms and whatever, but you want your own personal workout space. And this is crazy. So let me break it down, guys. All right. She said it's a workout spot that you can sleep on, right? It's a workout equipment that you can sleep on, meaning it is literally a bed frame. It has the bed frame. When you get out of bed, you sleep on it. You can put a TV on there, the mountain, you know, to mount your stuff under all that. You get up, yawn, oh, wow, and flip your bed and work out. Insane. It has everything you need, and it's standard sizes that you can put your bench there. You can use your, listen, mind yeah. blowing yeah no everything you say is absolutely spot on it takes mere seconds to assemble so it's very straightforward um in terms of how you physically flip it up it's not a it's not a difficult process so it is quick so you could literally roll out of bed still in your pajamas and then flip it up and then you could be doing chin-ups or bench press or squat rack within a matter of minutes it is that um simple the flip it's very very ingenious design very ingenious and w w since it's something that I mean nobody thought of this like this is crazy how did it come about yeah it's such a good point so so Colin Montgomery so Colin and Patricia are a couple and they're Pivot's founders now Colin developed this simply through his own personal experience so this is pre-pandemic as well so he finds himself working from home. He's frustrated with having tripping over dumbbells, exactly what you were describing about space saving. If you're limited on space, like, you know, workout gear falling out of the cupboard. And so he started thinking, what if I had a bed, a Murphy bed and could flip it up? And what if I started to store my weights equipment under the bed? So it started here. And then he's, he's got a curious mind and um, you know, his background is IT, but he's got a curious engineering mind. So he started tinkering and playing around with it. And the next thing you know, he's created this prototype that he continues to evolve. And then eventually Colin and Patricia went out to market. They did crowdfunding. And before they knew it, Pivot was born. And now they have taken it to the world. And interesting that all of this happened in the UK. Um, and then organically, the biggest pickup has actually been North America. And it's interesting what you were saying, your theory about small studios and spaces. But also what we see is that in the US, people know what they're looking for. So they're searching for home gym or they're searching for, um, I'm going to have to say it the American way, garage, garage. We, we say garage, but garage gym. Yes. And whereas in the UK, people need to be educated. They're like, oh, how do I need this in my life? Whereas what we, our theory on Americans is they're one step ahead. They worked out that they kind of need something structural at home. And that's why they're finding us. So it's fascinating. It is. I love that. Fascinating. <laughs> I love your accent. But listen, so so it is a big thing. We are really, I mean, home gyms is kind of like been on fire, especially since COVID, right? So yeah. when we had COVID, you know, we wanted to stay in shape. We wanted to keep our behavior, our, our lifestyle of working out going and so this is so crazy how you guys just totally went in there with the home fitness have you seen a different uh, like some behavior changes and and all that with this yeah massively I suppose that even though so pivot predates um the pandemic but it sort of has been exacerbated by the pandemic and I was actually looking at some statistics for the U.S. and what I found earlier was that um, there was a 60% increase in the wholesale of fitness equipment for home use um, compared to two years earlier. So, lot, so in, by the end of 2021, wholesale sales of fitness equipment for home use had increased by 60% versus two years previously. So the pandemic has completely catapulted working out at home, both the culture, following stuff online, things like that, that your, your YouTube, like people, you know, getting into like following, starting to trust influencers and starting to have a bit more confidence to do things at 
home, but also investing in their own kit. So um, that has had a massive impact. So I think what is brilliant for Pivot is that the idea came out of space saving and working at home and also like a philosophy about wanting to help people be fitter and healthier, right? So, you know, very similar to the Misfit One principles. And then the pandemic has just catapulted everyone because now everyone kind of goes, yeah, okay, that's the thing. I accept that that's the thing. I'm going to get onto it. Right, right. And and it's, and it's great. It, what I love about it is it's one of these things, and, and I know that um, in your statistics, it says that it, a lot of females are really getting into strength training with it because we we women tend to be afraid to go to the gym, right? We feel like we're going to be judged and yeah. everyone's looking. And I remember when I did it, like, um, you know, my story, I, I lost over 115 pounds. And when I was going to the gym at a size 24, people watched everything I did. But guess what? I wanted them people that was like, watch me, boo, watch me melt, watch me work. <laughs> but on the other side, a lot of people are very self-conscious about it and it stops them from going to the gym. Yeah, that is massive. So I like to use the phrase gym intimidation, right? Because I my background is in the gym sector. And when I worked for um a kind of mainstream high street gym chain, we did some research specifically on women and barriers to training and it was I don't want to be wearing light crap I don't want to be wearing tight clothes I'm body conscious I don't want people to look at me like the self-consciousness of being with around other people they don't they don't want to be looked at and even we had a few insights from women sort of sort of women in their 30s and 40s who were saying I don't want to be told what to do by like an 18 year old muscly kid and there, there were lots of inhibitions that women had and it's not to say that men don't also have inhibitions but you know, I, as a woman who's been in the fitness industry for a long time, have observed, and it's sad because we, you know, girl, it starts at puberty with girls starting to feel differently. And actually, one of the great things about Pivot is that it does create privacy and you can do it on your terms. So if someone hasn't got your phenomenal spirit of like being body confident and getting on with it, which is amazing, and we should all feel like that, then they can actually do it their own way, right? And just get on with it at home without worrying about any of those factors. And that's great because I have been working home, working out from home for a very long time, a long, before COVID hit. So when, before, you know, everybody was panicking, like, oh my God, what are we doing? I'm like, I'm still doing my stuff. Like I'm a Peloton believer, but it takes yeah. space, right? Like I have to put that, that is definitely, I have always believed I need a gym because I'm going to always work out, always work out. No matter if the world is falling down, I'm going to get it <laughs> in, right? But yeah. a lot of times people can't get those things because they don't have the space. We've had yeah. my equipment and I, I know it was driving my husband crazy, but I've had a, a thing in the sunroom and this every room, but the bedroom, because I want to get it out of there so I can like feel like I'm going somewhere, but it's so, um, it's hard to take, cause you got to limit yourself to one thing. Like I can't have a treadmill and I can't have a spin bike. I can't have yeah. a floor. I can't have a bench. I can't have a weight set. I can't have all of those things because, you know, I really don't have a full out gym at my home. I just need something I can use and pivot. Yeah came alone and was like here you are yeah and everything that you described like the limitations of that because when you go to a regular gym you can say right I'm gonna have a really diverse workout and I'm gonna be able to do a bit of this bit of cardio a bit of strength I can lift heavy I can do some functional training and actually you're right there is a limitation that people generally invest in a couple of things and then they limit their workout to that and the other thing is it's just psychologically stepping into a different space so the other thing that happens when pivot is in the gym mode is it demarcates like a zone, like I'm getting into the zone. So some of the things that I sometimes find hard, um, and it, this is even as, as a PT, is like whipping my mat out and like just doing it. Like, or if you're in a hotel saying, you know, I've got enough space, just get, just get going. I've got a bit of floor. Whereas psychologically, I think what's different about once you get to the gym, you commit and you're like, oh, I'm here now. I've got to do something. And I think that's something that we've learned as well is that customers feel like they can create this zone and then they're like I'm gonna do it 
Yes, that is exactly it. Yeah, because it does. It, it looks like a gym and it puts you in the mode and you are 100% correct. People need that feeling of I'm here. This is my space. So that's exactly it. You create that. This is no play zone. I'm just getting here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's hard if you're sitting on the couch. Yeah. And you're watching TV to say, okay, I'm gonna, I could put on my mat, I could do something, but I, but I can't, because it's like you said, psychologically um, built in us that we need to get in the zone and in the environment. Yeah, and and I think what the pandemic has done is it has made our homes be our everything because suddenly they might have to be our workplace they might have to be well at times they have to be where we were socializing and seeing our friends drinking wine on zoom and they are our workout spaces and and they're everything and that is a new phenomenon and that's why being able to flip it and make it feel different is so essential like I was working in my bedroom for the very first bit of the pandemic and it was so bad to my mental health because I was going to bed in my office and I was like this isn't right yes 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 very very true Uh, and and that's what I was thinking about when we said it's a bed. Now, let me ask you this. Is you put, you can put a queen size mattress on there or a twin? Yeah. Yeah. You can choose the different sizes. So it's, it's, a, du- it's a double, it's a small, a regular double is the smallest, but then it goes, you can choose different sizes. So yes, you can go up to a, if you like a more generous um, mattress, then you can go up in, in size and dimension. And, and so that's, Again, crazy because we just said how we want our designated space for it, but you said we're going to sleep on it. But trust me, you guys, it is bananas. You are sleeping <laughs> on your bed, just, you know, cool, whatever. And it flips up, like she said, a Murphy's bed. And it is a god darn gym like it looked like the walls it has the stuff it has everything you need yeah it has everything you need and so aesthetically you don't have to have that sense of everything lying around if you want to flip it back I mean some people may very seldom use it to sleep on some people may actually every night flip it up and down you've got the flexibility right so if you have the luxury of a bit of extra space and it's kind of your guest room yes it's, it's your guest room so it's your gym And then when someone comes to stay, they they don't even need to know there's a gym underneath unless you want to impress them. (laughs) Unless you're like me, uh, you got to get up because I got to work out. Yeah, exactly. Got to curse them out. (laughs) Set the alarm. The workout's happening. Get out of my gym. It's workout time. (laughs) Would you like some some orange juice? They're like, ma'am, it's like... (laughs) I got to get it in. (laughs) Exactly. Have them out. So crazy. And, And I love this because, you know, my whole... Um, platform is living fit, focus, intentional, and transforming. And I love the fact that when you eat, this this is everything you need. You can be focused on your health. You can move with intention. You don't have to say, oh, you don't have to make that choice anymore. It doesn't have to limit you. You can cross train from home, which I do cross train from home, but it's an effort for me. Like I, I make me do it. Um, but not the average person is going to do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, you know, you're absolutely right. And I think with the intention, it's versatile. So there's no compromise. So you can, I mean, let, let me be clear. My personal philosophy is that doing anything is better than doing nothing. So it's not to say, you know, people's efforts if they're if they're improvising and they're using a water bottle as a dumbbell then you know that is all like that is all massive but the the impressive piece is that you can do exactly you can design your actual workout that is going to meet your personal needs so you know whatever your goals are and whether you're working towards strength training or you've got something that you particularly want to improve it's that versatility so that intention you know that comes from the fact that there is no compromise from the kit it can be whatever you need it to be versatility is key Absolutely. Yeah, that's everything. And then if you're in a different mood one day, one day you might want to do some body weight stuff and you want to do pull ups, you want to use the mat and actually might want to do some yoga flow or Pilates. Um, I mean, I, I, I saw you mentioned that yoga is one of the things you haven't done. I'm the same. I haven't qualified in yoga. It's, too, I, I, it's just not my jam, but like, oh. <laughs> it's everything. It's, I, you know, and I, I'll do it. 
And everybody's like, you should get caught. I'm like, no, I just, I, you know, I have such respect for yogis, you know, me too. I, I don't want to spoil it by me coming up like, yeah, all right, namaste. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. I love that. I feel the same. I feel like I'm better with hit and boxing and I bring a bit of, um, you know, a bit more of an aggressive energy than, than the yogi. Yeah, I'm a fire. I'm more fire <laughs> yeah. versus, yeah. oh, you know, downward facing dog. Yeah. Da, 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 you know, but yeah, I feel you. I totally feel you. I, but I love it. I, you yeah. know, I, I get yeah. it. In, but, and I love that you have that option too. Like you exactly. Can so you have that option. That is your space to use however you want it. And then you can do, you know, functional training you can lift really heavy and I think that's the bit that is the real game changer because body weight you know people have done amazingly well adjusting and using body weight training or improvising with whatever they've got at home picking up a child picking up a child and doing squats with them I've done that before but actually this is like no compromise so you want to lift heavy you want to get a PB you want that one rep max you know you can do that in your own home rather than paying for gym and shit. Yeah, yeah. And what's crazy is now, now that we, you know, everybody want it, like, how do you get it? So at the moment, exclusively Pivot is available via the Pivot website. So that is the distribution channel. So as I mentioned, we, we ship worldwide. And actually, despite being um, manufactured in the UK, so we have our own manufacturer in the northeast of England. Um, and, you know, all kind of British made, but we do ship um, overseas and yeah like I said US is our biggest customer so we're loving it thank you <laughs> we, we love it we love it so what is the website oh yes yeah, sorry that's a really good point so the url is www.pvt.fit so pivot.fit pivot.fit yeah pvt.fit Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. So when you go on there, you you want to just be prepared to be blown away <laughs> because it is something that I've never seen before. And I think this would be like perfect for my daughter. She works out a lot, but she can't get equipment because she doesn't have enough room. So she's like the Pilates queen. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. But she needs to do more lifting. Um, so she has, you know, you know how everybody have our three, five, and 10 pound weights at somewhere in the house. But, you know, yeah. for her to really get into it. And that, that's crazy. Yeah. And I think that adoption curve, so people like your daughter who are maybe starting to tune in to the benefits of strength training, or maybe we'll pay people from slightly other disciplines. That is a massive curve, not just for women, but generally like the journey that I've seen, I'm sure you're the same, that like people are starting to understand that strength training has broader benefits and maybe it's about aging and bone density and osteoporosis, or maybe it's about menopause or mental health or self-esteem. But that journey is a really exciting one because at Pivot, we are so bought into that and the fundamental benefits of strength training for your life, not just the showroom muscles or the vanity metrics but the really you know holistic health benefits and it's an exciting time to be a brand in that space where people are starting to tune into that and go oh actually so so obviously weight loss is a massive one where historically people have started to change views and, and tune in that actually this is critical for that but then all the other benefits and just the benefits for life like as mothers like you've got to be strong to throw your children around or chase them or like what you know grab them and it's that's yeah, you 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 speaking on facts. Listen, I'm a grandma and my grandbaby is two, right? She's two. She's so tall already. She's like to my hip already. Like her head is on my hip bone. So she and she won't yaya to pick her up. Do you know if yaya didn't work out, yaya couldn't pick up that baby? I was like, God dang. Like, you know how you try to pick them up, like, oh no, you gotta put some some muscle in it. And literally, like, pick her up. And mm. I was telling my son, dang, if I didn't lift weights, I could not even pick up my grandchild, which is scary. And, you know, the fact is, when women strength train, I'm so glad you, you guys came up with that. Because we, a lot of times, they told cardio, 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 cardio. Yeah. But what you don't realize is cardio, you stop burning fat. As soon as you stop 
cardio. As soon as you stop running, that stop. I'm a lazy worker outer. I love to lift more than I do cardio because when I lift, you realize that your body is burning calories all day. Yes. I lift in the morning. I am done working out. I'm eating breakfast. I'm going to work. I'm doing my thing. My body is still burning calories. Lifting is so essential. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The function of your day. You hit it right on the thing. Now, let me ask you this, Miss Rose. You know, we all about self-care and how we take care of ourselves. And you just showed us all how to take care of ourselves. How do you take care of you? Oh, that is such a good question. Um, I think, so from a physical thing, I absolutely love swimming in outdoor water. So at the moment, like London is, we're in a crazy heat wave. So um, it's been an amazing time to hit lakes and ponds and outdoor pools. But I've just been on holiday and been swimming in the sea and it brings me back a calm, like swimming. I mean, I love, I love indoor pools as well. I just love swimming, but swimming in an outdoor in open air has got like a, just a calmness and, a, and just does wonders for my kind of headspace. Um, so that's probably the physical thing. And then I think like laughing with my friends, like my oldest friends having a few wines and a laugh, like that probably is the other one. Like that's the greatest tonic in terms of like my self-care. I love that because that <laughs> is so true. My girlfriend and I went last night, just random, I mean, and and had a drink and 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 we uh, had a glass of wine and we ate, literally we laughed like we were like 12 year old. I, I, we were like giggly and laughing and it was so fun. So I'm going to have to pick that up too, because yeah. Rose, that's so true. Laughter is a form of medication. Yeah, it's the best. If only we could get more of it on come on. But yeah, it is, isn't it? It's just like such a difference. Like everything relaxes from your facial muscles, everything changes. And yeah, so I think that's, yeah, it's so powerful, isn't it? It is. And then the great thing about you doing your swim outside, you are able to use all of your senses. And it's sort of like a forest bath, right? Where when you (laughs) swim, you could feel the water, you can hear the lapping of the sound, you can hear the birds, you can, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a way that all of your senses are engaged. Not that you can't do it inside, but every one of your senses are actually engaged. And it yeah, gives that's such a good point. Thing. I never thought of it that way, but that is such a good point, actually, around your surroundings. And the other thing is, if it is natural and it's cold water, there's oh. something that I, I've seen. I saw a documentary about specifically helping depression and mental health. There's something about the shock therapy of cold water. Um, and that that's really powerful. And at first you're like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm going to shut it out. And then you do it and you commit. And then you're like, and it's all something for your soul. It's so powerful. It really is. It really is. This is like so... Um, profound to so many people because a lot of like I I am not a cold water girl we on vacation and the whole pool watched me get in everybody at the pool because I'm like yeah Uh, (laughs) once I get in I'm like oh this is great now it took me yeah yeah oh you know (laughs) There's always one, but someone's got to do that to entertain the people sunbathing. That's like, right. And I'm like, oh, God, I try to be cool about it. Like, <laughs> in, but as soon as my toe here, I'm like, oh, ah, you know, and it's so crazy. And I, I want to be cool, but you are absolutely right. Once we get on, you know, get in the water, it's like, oh, this is great. La, 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 la. Yeah. It's so funny. And, you know, I, I just want to thank you again for coming on, talking to us about it. Now, let me ask you this. What are three benefits that you think? Just give us like three things that the people can kind of soak in and think about improving their 
health with home fitness? Good question. Three benefits of pivot, you mean? Right. Okay. So, um, so I think number one is zero compromise to how you want to train. So you can train on your terms, which I think is really important because it's such a personal thing. And as we've talked about, everyone has got their thing that they're into, right? And I don't, I believe that everyone should stick to what they enjoy. So I believe that the success to being motivated and fitness is to do something that you actually enjoy and you see the benefits. So number one, you do it your way, no compromise. Um, number two, I think is um, keeping your home zen. So if you want to, you can have it look like a really, really awesome gym. But if you want to, you can also have a bit more of a zen environment, flip it into the bed, minimalist, chic, and be all elegant. And so you can revert back, be a bit more namaste, and have your, yeah. have your kind of moment, and have both, get the scented candles out. So I think that's a piece like for, for, um, for headspace and mental health, I think that's really important. Um, and then I think the third benefit is um, you're going to impress all your friends and show them that you are invested in your health and well-being and maybe share the love with them as well, right? Because we all kind of go, oh, and I think this has been something that Peloton has done. Like certainly in my street, it's like who's got a Peli in their house. And I think like they've led the way in terms of making it um, a sort of a prestige item that you want to have in your home. And I think that it's great to spread the word and be an ambassador for fitness, for a fit and healthy lifestyle. You know, train hard, sleep well, both delivered by Pivot. And then live better. So fit a lifestyle for everyone. I love it. I love it. Remind us again, give us the website on how we can order our pivot. Yes. Yeah, so it's pvt.fit. So pivot, but pvt.fit. Perfect. And listen, you guys know you're going to go look for it. You know you want it. Don't worry. We're going to hook you up. We got you. You know, Ms. Fit One always take care of you, right? I do, I do. So look it up, get your exclusive offer that you will only get here. You're here, only here. Now, till next time, again, I want to say thank you so much for coming. Do you want to leave any last word for the people? Do you want to say final? Oh, just thank you for having me and just massive sending love across the pond to our amazing fan base in America and just like absolutely love that they're ahead of the curve and, and making home fitness happen. Keep, keep, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys heard her till next week. Live fit. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miss Fit One Lifestyles. Listen, when you are fed up and sick and tired of living this stifled overwhelmed and overstressed life and you're ready to live the fullest richest and healthiest life by gaining more confidence more energy and more clarity living in your best self you know what to do right go ahead go to my website misfit1.com sign up for our online courses creating healthy habit so that you too can live fit focus move with intention and transform your life